Hello, welcome to Leicester Vintage. I'm Gav. And Joe's on holiday. So we're gonna try and sell all of his toys. Let's go and have a look. Thundercats. How cool is Panthro? Probably the best Thundercat, I reckon. So chunky and awesome. This guy, available on our website. Everything today, you can look at. There's a link down below. All the products are gonna be on the website. And there he is, look at him, Panthro. How often do you see a card in Panthro? Not in bad condition. Thundercats do suffer. The cards do get really bendy. But he's pretty nice. But you know, speaking of nice Thundercats, it doesn't get much nicer than this fella. Look at him, the driller. 80 graded, what is he, is he UKG? That is fantastic. These always pop off their cards. They're so heavy, but they're amazing. Again, link down there, you can have a look at him. He's so cool. It's hard to get a loose one because uh, these, little, uh, these little petals, as people call them, they always fall off. But there we go. We've got loads of Thundercats in. The last one we'll have a look at today, another, uh, another classic. The Astral Moat Monster. Look at that artwork on that box. Phenomenal. I love it. There's a lot of repro wings going round with the Astral Moat Monster, but luckily our one is a beauty. But yeah, click down below, it could be all yours. Awesome. Thundercats on the website Beyond Sight. <laughs> Heroes in a half shell, turtle power. Here we have them. I felt a bit Alan Partridge there. <laughs> okay, who we got? I got. I'm picking out some of my favourites here. Some of the higher end figures. Nice graded, eighty graded scumbag. Uh, Gav, it's scumbug. Sorry, mate. <laughs> look at him. But look at him. He's great. He's a great monster. He's so colourful. And yeah, eighty grade, lovely condition. But I tell you what, I've got a question. This box artwork, come on now, try a bit harder. <laughs> dear, oh dear, you bug me, turtles. <laughs> there we go, and there you go, there's all the guys you can get. Oh, I like his accessories, turtle exterminating gun. They really did think about it back then, didn't they? Who else we got? <laughs> oh, this guy. This guy here, Zach the Neutrino, he reminds me of a uh, customer we had in the other day. <laughs> this guy used to work in a local comic shop and he kind of reminds me of him. He's, a, he's an older guy now, but he still dresses like really cool and funky. And Zack the Neutrino is that guy. Look at him. I didn't notice his pointy ears. He's a bit of a goblin looking guy, isn't he? No, cool though. But yeah, you can get him. All these all on the website, links all below. And finally, I think my absolute favorite one of our Turtles figures in at the minute. April, the ravishing reporter. Look at that hair. What a beauty. You could tease that hair. It's like a little Barbie doll. I don't, I don't know what they were thinking here. <laughs> Whether they were trying to get girls into turtles more by, you know, doing this kind of thing. I like it. I'd have loved this. I'd have had this as a kid. Fantastic. But it's good. They've not given her a little comb or anything. I'd have liked to have seen that. You know, camera that turns into a little hairbrush or something. That'd be cool. But there she is on the website, link below. Really nice condition. She's a Y80, but she's barely got any yellowing at all. I don't know why they've given it the Y. But there we have it. The gutsy news gal. Contrary to popular belief, I don't actually hate the A-Team. I quite like some of it. Not all of it, but some of it. Check these out. There we go. All this stuff, all on the website. Adjustable binoculars clear safety lenses. You know, you could do anything with them. <laughs> You'd be all right. Got the classic, nothing on the back. <laughs> but they're cool, it's just a pair of binoculars with an A-Team sticker on it. They did that a lot in the 80s. Little cash-ins. But what's really good is this one. The Dynamite Blaster. You got your A-Team van, which alone is a cool little toy. But what you do, you stick this in it, pump it up, and it whizzes off like the old, uh, the old Tomy vehicles you could get. Everything by Galoob from the A-Team. How cool is it? Has it, got a, has it got something on the back? 
It has. <laughs> there you go. A little hole in it. That is fantastic. The 18 Corvette also available. But one last thing that I really like that I can't not mention because they're just little cool items. These little A-Team stampers. Little rubber stamps. There we go. So you could uh, stick Mr. T's face wherever you wanted to. Well, there we go. <laughs> that's Murdoch. I didn't even know who that was. <laughs> but there we go. That's Murdoch, apparently. So, yeah. See, I quite like them. I quite like the idea of just, you know, stamping Joe on the back of his head every now and again. I think that'd be quite good fun. I mean, let's face it. You'd be howling mad not to go on the website and buy some 18 figures. <gasps> Speaking of Alan Partridge, Jurassic Park. Look at him. We've not got loads of Jurassic Park in at the minute, but this one is so, so nice. The Junior T-Rex. See, everyone remembers the big one, which is a fantastic, fantastic thing. But he's really nice. Unused contents. Click below. The link's down there. You can buy him right now. Look at him. He's still a big guy next to the figures. I don't remember there being a Junior T-Rex in the film. But I guess like Star Wars, they just produced some extra toys just for kids to have if they couldn't afford the big stuff. But there we go. There's loads loads in the line. But we do get it in now and again. So keep checking with us. Always keep checking with us. But look at him. They always had, they had a little panel on. Just under there, you can see his rib cage after he's been in a fight. A little battle feature. Got movie collector's cards in there. They really tried to pad it all out to make it work. But there we go. Jurassic Park. What has James got in his hand? Wouldn't you know, it's a laser command. Here we go, one of the uh, holy grails for mass collectors. Here's one I made earlier. There's the Ratfang vehicle with miles in there, all nice and complete. Check out this stunning boxed example we've got. Available on the website, links below. Don't forget. And as stunning as Lazy Command is, let's not forget these graded examples. Iguana, Mask Season 1, and Manta. Another so highly sought after item amongst mask collectors. Complete, obviously with Vanessa Warfield. You don't often see her outside of the box, so there you go. Capitalise on your chance to own a complete graded piece of history. I have the power. But enough about the fuel crisis. <laughs> oh, look at this. I really love what Super 7 are doing with these E-Man figures. The classics, this is a, like a filmation style one. And they've done this, these particular limited edition ones, they did them on the uh, classic backing cards. Really, very cool. Nice artwork there. And these, and they come with all the heads. His sword's a bit floppy in there. But you got your laughing, your classic laughing head. How cool is that? <laughs> Rubbish robot head. I don't even remember this episode. People assure me it happened, but I don't remember it. And of course, you got your new romantic He-Man there with his eyeshadow on. Fantastic. Also, you know, you can't have them without Skeletor, and they've given him the same treatment. <laughs> you bungling boob! <laughs> Look at him, there you go. He's got his, his laughing face, although I don't know. I don't know about that one. <laughs> Not sure if that's a laughing or gurning, whatever. His Havoc staff's nice though. Look at the length of that. <laughs> uh, what's this little thing in the box? Any idea, James? It's come some kind of little little ring. You guys all know. Oh, it's the, uh, yes, it's from the first episode. It's oh, the, there we go. First episode. Disappearing. <laughs> but yeah, it's great. It's and again, same, same with the backing card. It just tells you, just in case you didn't know how to swap the heads over. Brilliant. But for the more discerning He-Man collector, these are all on the website, by the way. Look at that. The original He-Man, an amazing graded example. He is 80 grade, AFA graded. You hardly ever see a He-Man that nice on his card. Not an eight back, unfortunately, but still a beautiful example. And where can we buy him? On the web store. We often get asked, what's the highest priced item in the shop? Well, this is one of them. This beautiful UKG, it's a Y80 graded Skeletor and Panthor gift set. Look at that. Available, again, like everything, on the website, 
Links below. Go check it out. Ma, check out my ghost balls. <laughs> awesome. On the website, go and have a look. Brilliant. So yeah, Ghostbusters. Enough of that tomfoolery. This is one of my favourite things in the shop. It's the German variant of the car back. Granny Gross, you know, it's just Granny Gross. But I love Spookies. It's one of my favourites. Oh, one day, I hope to have a whole run of Spookies figures. Fantastic. Really like them. That's just a kind of little throwaway thing there. She's on the website. She's available. I don't want to sell her, but she's available. Tell you what, let's do Peter. Fright features Peter, nice graded example, Y90. What an unusual grade, Y90. So amazing condition, a little bit yellow, but not much. Eyes pop out, jaw drops, hair raises. Real fright feature. Look at them, they come with a little ghost. I like this one, it sits around his neck. And then we've got the back. So you can see all the things you can buy. That was one of the best things when you got a toy. You see all the other toys you could have. <laughs> Not content with the one your mum's just bought you. No, I want all these other toys as well. But anyway, speaking of the backs, this is an unusual Fright Features figure. Fright Features Ray. There he is, looks pretty similar to all the others. But then, it's got no back. It's got a blank back. Very unusual. But yeah, this too, graded example. Available on the website now. Links down below. H5, UKG H5. How lovely is he? And unusual for your collection. Speaking of Ghostbusters, check out these beautifully graded examples. The Ecto Glows. Now, you struggle to find these loose. Never mind on a card, never mind graded to an 85 grade. Absolutely beautiful. And I believe this is a full run. So if that's your kind of thing, visit the Web Fright to get these. <sighs> Robots in disguise, Transformers. Look at this, Gold Box Classic tracks. He's really, really nice. These, uh, no one used to care about the Gold Box Classics, but they're really, really coming through now. Nice box, that is. And he's got his bubble as well. They're very often missing, because once you pop that off as a kid, that's not going back in there. Very, very nice. On the website now, has everything. And here we go, Headmasters. I really liked Headmasters when they come out. This is a sealed example, never been out. Look at that, it's never been played with. You could be the first person to play with it, or you could sit it on your shelf with all your others. Love it, Headmasters. If you didn't know, they came with an extra little guy. And he uh, transformed into the robot head. Headmasters. And there we have it. Most of the best 80s toys covered. You can get them all on lestervintage.co.uk or in the shop, loads in the shop as well. Look at him, Kevin Clifford his name is. Amazing. <laughs> Everyone had their own name. <laughs> I'm gonna put him on the website this afternoon. There's new stuff going on all the time. Whenever we find it, yeah, bang it on the website. All good. Where's the website? There you go, lestervintageandoldtoyshop.co.uk. There you go. You can get mugs as well and t-shirts. Merchandising. And Merchandising. <laughs> <laughs> and also, Toy Shop on Tour starts filming next month, so get your merch. See you later, guys. Where's my tin? <laughs> Where's mine? That's plastic. <laughs> <laughs>